truth is, Kabul and its fashionable elite were living in a bubble. In the far-off provinces, where 80% of Afghans lived, the situation was very different. Poor and illiterate, rural Afghans followed ancient cultural traditions. Women were segregated and could be bought for marriage. Religion was the ultimate authority. A lot of the Afghans, or the 40 odd families that run this country, majority of them acted like uh, British aristocrats, unfortunately. They were great for the cities, but they really annoyed the villages. Elite class of Afghanistan, they were not thinking about what was going to happen in the country. We were sort of asleep in those days. And we didn't see the reality, unfortunately, because of our class differences. Il y a une minorité qui veut changer les choses, mais il y a une masse qui sont assez conservateurs, très religieux. Et tout changement, ça peut les, les choquer ou les irriter. <laughs> 